The transformer based OCR TROCR does not perform well on curved text. That's what we checked out in our last video. So, today we will fine tune the TROCR small model on text images from the wild. Hey there. Welcome to Learn Open CV. Make sure you have watched our previous video where we take a look at the TROCR models and run inference with it. Refer to the blog post fine tuning TROCR link in description click on the download button on the blog post enter your details and hit enter you'll receive an email with a github link open the link and click on the download code button let's get started i'm going to run the notebook on google colab and using v100 gpu do you ever get a100 gpus in colab anymore let me know in the comments first we need to install a few dependencies The Transformers library will give us access to hundreds of transformer based models on Hugging Face. Sentence piece converts words to tokens. Jiver is used to calculate text metrics like character error rate. Datasets evaluate and accelerate are also from Hugging Face. Next up, importing. You would know about most of these. OS, Torch, Random, Evaluate, NumPy, Pandas, Glob, Torch Optim which contains all PyTorch optimizers, Matplotlib and Torch Vision's Transformers library for image augmentations. TROCR only inputs pillow images, so importing pillow. Zip file to extract the custom dataset and URL lib to download the dataset. TQDM is used for verbose outputs and data class for dataset configuration. We will inherit Torch Utils dataset class to a custom OCR dataset class and finally multiple modules from the Transformers library. We have already seen the vision encoder decoder model and the processor to the model. Sequence to sequence trainer is needed to initialize the trainer API but these expect a lot of arguments. So, sequence to sequence training arguments initialize all the required arguments before passing them to the trainer API. and our last import default data collator to form batches of data there's so much going on in the notebook anyway moving on setting seeds help reproduce the run always provided multiple threads are not running concurrently so defining all the seeds to 42 42 is the answer to the great question of life the universe and everything <laughs> next set the device In our case we are using the CUDA GPU. CPU is also an option. I don't recommend it. Now on to the dataset preparation. First, let's download and extract the dataset using URL retrieve and zip file. Then, using data class, set the hyperparameters like batch size, epochs, learning rate and fine tune the small printed model. For the purpose of this video, we will use a lower epoch. However, in real life scenarios, You should train the model until you achieve the desired accuracy. If you don't know what hyperparameters are, you should first understand the basics of deep learning using OpenCV University's free TensorFlow bootcamp. Visit openCV.org/university/free-courses to know more. Link in description. We are using the SCUT CTW1500 dataset, which stands for Curved Text in the Wild. It has a total of 7700 images out of which 6050 are from the training set and the rest are from the validation set. This is a snapshot of the data set. Household troops, the palace depot of the world, daily news, 1906 and more. TROCR was trained on synthetic data, but this is random text found in the wild. Let's train TROCR on these images. First, we prepare our data for training. We load the label files using pandas data frame for easy usage. Here are rows 1 through 5. Next, we need to augment the data to introduce randomness for every epoch. Color jitter alters the brightness, contrast, hue and saturation of the images and gaussian blur will blur the image. And now for finer control of the input to the model, We will create a custom dataset class. In it initialize the parameters, len returns the data frame length and get item prepares the data. Let's check it in more detail. 
we get the image file name and the text label from the data frame. Then we read the image using pillow and apply transformations to it. And then process the image by converting it to PyTorch tensors and normalizing it. We are done with the image part, but not with the text. We need to tokenize the text using processor.tokenizer. TROCR requires same length text tokens. So we define the max target length and provide padding if the text token is smaller than the max target length. If it's bigger than the max target length, it gets truncated. Here you can see we pad the tokens with minus 100, minus 100. And finally, we package the tensor and the token as a dictionary. Now our data is ready to be fed to the model for training. Next, we initialize the processor and create train and test dataset objects. Here we can check whether everything is loaded up correctly. Good. Next up, we initialize the models. We download the small model and load it to the GPU. Here is the model architecture by the way. Now these are language model configurations. We will skip this for now and understand them in detail in the later weeks. Subscribe to us to never miss any video. We will use Adam W Optimizer for training with a DK of 0 0.0005 and CER is the evaluation metric, which basically is the number of characters the model did not predict correctly. So CER.compute, predictions and ground truth. Now everything is in place. So we will use sequence to sequence training arguments to set the arguments needed for training. When do we evaluate the metric? When do we log the metric? The batch sizes, output directory and more. Sequence to sequence training arguments can input a total of 98 arguments that will be used for training. Then pass these arguments to the hugging phase sequence to sequence trainer API. You also pass the model, the text tokenizer, compute metrics function, the data sets and the data collator. Finally, start training. This will take some time. Get some coffee. The console log will show the training loss, the validation loss, the character error rate and see our metric CER which is decreasing. Now to run inference, load the fine-tuned model and use the three functions from the TROCR inference notebook. Finally call eval new data. Although these aren't amazing results, they are better than the previous results. And if we had trained the model for longer, we'd have bound to get better results. So that's about fine tuning TROCR models. If you like this video, why don't you check out the TROCR model architecture and running inference using it or other videos in the YOLO masterclass playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.